Having a cancer of the brain and spinal cord uh, has a unique set of challenges in that the patient not only has to face the unique uh, challenges of chemotherapy, radiation, and potentially surgery, the traditional anti-cancer therapies, but also uh, some of the neurologic side effects that may occur. This might include trouble with movement or thinking or even uh, questions about one's own identity. And because of this unique set of challenges, uh, a broad array uh, and team of clinicians is needed to help take care of those patients. And that's the kind of patient team I like uh, to lead and uh, our, it is our philosophy for taking care of neuro-oncology patients specifically. I'm trained uh, to treat all kinds of cancers and blood disorders, but I do focus on neuro-oncology, which are malignancies that happen around the brain and the spinal cord. This includes cancers that might start specifically in the brain or the spinal cord, but also those that could spread from elsewhere in the body. And I help with some of the neurologic side effects that happen with those cancers as well, such as, such as seizures or thinking and speech difficulties. In particular, I have an interest in lymphomas that happen in the brain or cancers of white blood cells that can start in the brain. Up until a few years ago, this set of diseases uh, could have been fatal for most patients. However, uh, significant advancements have been made uh, within the last even five years such that we can offer the hope for a normal life for many of these patients. And as such, it's a particularly rewarding group of patients to treat. So I'm fortunate uh, to be affiliated with Hollings Cancer Center, which is the only National Cancer Institute um, designated cancer center in South Carolina. And within that, uh, we have a comprehensive brain and spine tumor center, again, the only one uh, within the state uh, with its qualifications. That affords us the opportunity to have a multidisciplinary approach to patient care, not only uh, from my end of oncology, but our excellent neurosurgeons who are experts in the field of brain tumor surgery, as well as radiation oncology physicians who are dedicated to neuro uh, malignancies. We also have uh, a broad array of ancillary staff, including physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, and psychologists, all focused on the specific needs of patients with brain and spinal tumors. So it's a really unique uh, place to treat uh, patients um, and one that we're excited to be in. Traditional cancer therapy has relied on chemotherapy and radiation and surgery. However, a lot of cancer care is beginning to pivot to immunotherapies, specifically those involving vaccines and medicines that may unmask the tumor to the immune system. And we have clinical trials uh, currently underway uh, specifically for brain cancer patients using these modalities. By this token, um, cancers that may have been uniformly fatal just a few years ago um, now have, all, have treatment options available to them that may have seemed impossible um, just within the last decade.